Earth lives in a shooting gallery of asteroids, any one of which could hit us one day. Here's what you need to know. What caused all the stir this week was a 140-foot long asteroid that buzzed the Earth at an altitude of just 17,000 miles. Now that sounds like a lot, but it's only one-fourteenth of the way to the moon and is actually 5,000 miles below the altitude at which some of our communication satellites fly. The fact is, Earth gets hit by space debris all the time. A hundred tons of material enter our atmosphere every day, including at least one basketball-sized rock. And every few months, a rock about the size of a Volkswagen comes in also. Most of that material is incinerated long before it reaches the ground. But if a rock gets to about 100 to 150 feet, a significant chunk of it can survive, and that can produce problems. It's not just the size of an asteroid that causes problems. It's the energy it carries as it speeds into the atmosphere. That's why a rock that's relatively small, just 120 feet across, can produce a blast equivalent to 2.4 megatons, or 180 times bigger than the Hiroshima bomb. In 1908, an asteroid about 100 meters, or 330 feet across, blew up in the air over the Tunguska region in Russia, clearing out a patch of forest 850 miles wide. An asteroid the size of the one that just buzzed the Earth passes by about once every 40 years and will hit the ground about once every 1,200 years. The kind of asteroid that causes local or even global devastation arrives about once every 10,000 to 100,000 years. Now that sounds comforting, but as the dinosaurs could tell you, it only takes one. 